This week we're celebrating hardtails on GMBN and one of the great things about hardtails is they can be really good value for money. For a comparatively priced full suspension bike you might not get as good of components. So let's say you've got yourself your brand new hardtail, these are our top 10 setup and upgrade tips. Because of the nature of hardtails, they can be said to be slightly less forgiving than full suspension bikes and arguably the bike setup is more important and one of the most important components on the bike is tyres, choice and pressure. So because of the lack of suspension on the rear of the bike, the tyre, especially the rear tyre, is actually going to get hit pretty hard. So you can start puncturing if you start riding a hardtail really fast on gnarly terrain. So personally, I like to go for a slightly heavier tyre. There's more protection on it, more rubber in the carcass, and that means you're less likely to puncture. Also, tubeless is a really good idea because that's going to take away the risk of pinch puncturing. You can still rip a tyre, so you do have to bear that in mind, but definitely less pinch punctures. One of the great things about tyres is they really, really do change the way the bike rides. So it might be a really good idea to invest in a couple of pairs of tyres, maybe a lightweight cross-country set for those epic rides and a slightly heavier weight set of tyres for those gnarlier rides. Personally, I like to run about 30 PSI in the rear, so pretty hard, but then less in the front, anywhere between 25 and 28 PSI. Riding a hardtail on flat pedals can be a really bumpy experience and your feet can blow off them. Most of the time if you're buying a new bike, it won't come with pedals, so now's your chance to buy a good set of pedals from the off. Something with a big platform and aggressive pins is gonna be super grippy, and match that with a big flat sole, so either a mountain bike flat pedal shoe or something like a skate style shoe will be good. Um, if you're a beginner, I would always recommend starting on flat pedals. It's gonna be good for your skills in the long term. Obviously, if you put clips on there, you won't have that problem of slipping off them. But even with flats, good technique will make a big difference to sliding around on the pedals as well. Just dropping your heels slightly means that your foot's gonna be in the pedal, so when you hit bumps, you're not gonna go forward, you're just gonna push the bike forward. The other contact points on the bike are the saddle and the grips and you might want to play around with those so it makes your bike comfortable for you. Grips, I always go for lock-ons just for the ease of use and I know they're not going to spin around if water gets underneath them. And then you can play around with things like diameter, you can get grips in slim or wide just to suit your hand size more than anything. Saddle, again, it's a really personal thing. Maybe try out the one that's on your bike, but it might be one of those first places where you think about getting an upgrade to make sure you're super comfortable, especially on longer rides. Most hardtails come with a suspension fork, so it's really important to get that set up correctly for your front wheel control, grip, and for your comfort. Uh, a lot of suspension forks nowadays are air, so that's really easy to set that fork to your weight just using a shock pump. Uh, look at sort of getting 20% sag on there. We've done a video on how to get this, so check that one out if you've not seen that one already. And after that, it's then trying to set up your rebound. There's normally a label on the fork that shows you which way you need to turn that to speed it up or slow it down. Again, play around with that a little bit, but also check out our video on how to set up your suspension. It's important to check your bike over regularly. Hardtails can take a lot of abuse in heavy riding, especially on heavy landings. So give them regular bolt checks. You go over every single bolt on the bike and make sure they haven't rattled loose. Also your rear wheel and tire can take a lot of abuse. So keep an eye on that tire tread and sidewall and also regularly check your spokes. Make sure they're nice and tight. Getting the correct bar and stem combination for the style of riding you do can make a big difference to your confidence and control on the bike. For more aggressive riding, like jumping or riding downhill, a shorter stem, maybe 40 to 60 mil, and wider bars is going to tip you a bit further back on the bike and just inspire more confidence. However, for cross-country racing, you're going to want a longer stem, so maybe 60 millimeters plus, and narrower bars to keep some more weight on that front tire. So there's a few tips on how to set up your new hardtail, but down the line you might want to think about some upgrades on that bike, especially if you've bought a bike at the lower end of the budget. As Scotty showed us recently, wheels make a massive difference to how that bike rides, so strength and weight are main considerations. They will make a big difference, especially as it's rotating weight. If they're heavy, that can make a really big difference to how agile that bike feels. So they're not cheap, but wheels are a potential upgrade that you might want to think about. 
Another major component that's worth thinking about upgrading are the brakes. They're actually really important to how fast you can ride that bike. If they don't work well, you're not going to be able to ride fast and brake late. Also, one finger braking is really important if you want to be a good rider. So make sure your brakes are powerful enough to let you just use one finger on the very end. Finally, one of the best upgrades, in my opinion, you can make to any bike is to fit a dropper seat post. It's going to help you get that seat out of the way really easily so you can move around on the bike, gain confidence in steep downhill sections especially, without having to stop and use an Allen key or a quick release. So you've set up your bike, you've upgraded it, Point number 10, the final point, is to upgrade your skills. If you click up there, that'll take you through to our full skills playlist. You can learn a thing or two, hopefully. And if you click just about there, that'll take you through to this week's hardtail playlist. Click on the GMBN logo to subscribe. Give us a thumbs up if you love hardtails.